Our task today is to interview a few yetis in the wild of the yeti sanctuary. See what they have to say about the heat today. Do you have an opinion, Nomad? Nomad, that's our microphone. That's the microphone. <laughs> Nomad, pay attention now. How hot would you say it is out here? Here comes Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. No, no, Nomad, you had your chance. Gypsy Rose. <laughs> Gypsy Rose, back up. <laughs> Step back, Gypsy Rose. Okay, let's try this again. How hot would you say it is out here, Gypsy, Gypsy Rose? Are you guys listening? Nomad? Gypsy Rose is a good candidate for this study, Gypsy Rose. We'd like to know how your fur coat affects your perception of the heat out here. How hot would you say it is, Gypsy Rose? Okay, talking to the microphone. Gypsy Rose is not talking. Okay. Okay, we got somebody out here with some brains. Simicon, ask King Yeti. I'm sure you have a lot to say. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> you guys are hopeless. Hopeless. Okay, we spotted another Yeti over here. We've got our water baby, our water baby Yeti Sirocco. She's on her veranda. Veranda. That's the way the Californians say it. Veranda. Here we go. Now, Sirocco. I see that you're sitting halfway in the sun here. That doesn't bother you? There, now we have a nice close-up of you, Sirocco. What do you think about the heat out here? I think you're enjoying it. Ladies. Ladies. Hi, ladies. Got Gypsy Rose. And Queen Sahara. Okay, Sahara. <laughs> no mad. And no mad. He always has a lot to say about nothing. Nothing to say about everything. Come on, Nomad. We're looking for Sequoia. We know she's out here somewhere. <gasps> Where did you come from? You weren't there when I walked past a second ago. Okay, Sequoia. Quick boy. How are you doing out here today?